he puts himself in pretty good position to get an offensive rebound just like we saw in that last play. Third most second chance points in the league. Speaking of Rudy Gobert, as Kobe Leonard puts it home. O'Neal looks inside to Bogdanovich. Pass deflected, ultimately recovered by the Clippers. Lead it ahead to Beverly, and he lays it in. Clippers trail by one. The Utah Jazz have been better ever since. Great look for Serge. You see the closeout by Gobert, a step too late. And Serge Ibaka gives the Clippers their first lead. There's Gobert. He can't lead. Zeno Kawhi can knock that shot. Guess who's spotted wide up? Serge say, I'll take all three of those. Uh, it certainly helps that shots are falling, but they are getting into the paint. That's the biggest mm -hmm. thing that we didn't see on Wednesday. Speaking, Speaking of, of, oh, he lays it in. Come back off of this. The drive to the hoop. Kawhi Leonard just isolated. You know, Favors was up just a little bit outside the lane. Battling through injury and trying to get adjusted to the new teammates coming off the bench with him. Kawhi Leonard goes from 100 to 0 and then leaves it in. Able to take advantage of it. And once again, I said it was good D, but like we like to say, better O. Leonard watched by Mitchell. Mitchell has struggled as Leonard will work late in the clock. It's so fun to have a bailout like Kawhi Leonard. Jim and Brian talked about. So what Come I back. did was I see, there you go. texted see, her see, during see, the break see, and I said, can't let me. Jim is feeling down. <laughs> 45 to play in this third quarter. Clippers and Jazz tied at 71. Ingles, catch and shoot three. Air ball, rebound two. You probably wouldn't pay a lot of bills when you went out to eat with your teammates then. I would take it. <laughs> Leonard knocks it down. The Clippers lead by two.